Now let's talk about the amount of detail that we can add, what kind of resolution to add to that detail, and then how we can transfer uh, some of the model detail that we have into something like a displacement or normal map. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And this is 09 start. And you can see I've got the uh, tires duplicated around. The tread's a, a little bit different than what we looked at in the last lesson, but you can see it's the same kind of a thing. It's duplicated all around these tires, so we get this nice segmented effect. And so the idea with a model like this is where where do we add the detail and where specifically do we model that detail? Um, so we've got things back here like bolts coming in here that we've gone ahead and built. And so the decision needs to be made on, on what exactly uh, needs to be built. So if we have something that affects the silhouette and something that is uh, kind of a, a larger piece, then we can go ahead maybe and model that out. If it's something where it is maybe rivets along the surface, maybe those can be added uh, in a texture map because they're very small uh, details that we're not really going to get that close up on. Okay, You have pieces like this mesh here in the back of this kind of wire mesh. This could be something if we're never going to get up close. Right now it's geometry. You can see it actually is consists of a number of polygons. This could be uh, a good opportunity to save a lot of polygons here by just making a plane and adding transparency and a texture map to that. If we're only going to see it from this size, you know, that is certainly going to do the job. I know that I've been in situations myself where I'm working on a, a feature you've got to add, you know, you're building a, a, a building, let's say, and we don't really know maybe exactly how close we're going to get to different parts of the building. And so you start to model all the detail that you see in the artwork that you get. And a lot of times you're not going to need that much detail. You're not going to need to model all of the uh, the screws and everything uh, that's really going to weigh your scene down in many cases and a lot of that can be accomplished with texture maps. So again it's kind of a balancing act and as a modeler of course you probably want to model as much as you can get a really detailed model in there but there are shortcuts that can help you uh, help the uh, production move along as it goes down the pipe. So those are things to think about. Now if you do have uh, some detail that you've added so for instance the, the bolts here you just want to watch the resolution Again, even if it's something that you're going to be adding, if it if the bolt is something that you're going to be only uh, seeing from this scale, then you might not even have to smooth it. You can see here, I've gone ahead and taken away that smoothing. You really don't see any difference in that from uh, this distance. If we start to get up closer, then you can start to uh, maybe have things that are a little bit more higher resolution. So. The fact that we have the detail is important and also the fact uh, that uh, that the detail is a specific resolution that depends on how close it's going to be to the screen. Are we going to actually see it up close so that we need to see all that detail or is it going to be something where we see it further back? So that goes into your decision making as well. Now something like this tire, this really there's a lot of geometry in this because we've got both sides. We've got one on this side, one on the other, one row and then the geometry in the middle. Um, so in some of these cases, we could actually uh, get away with transferring a lot of that modeled detail that we have into something like a normal map or a displacement map. And so to do that, we just need a target. So I've just taken the base uh, tire and inflated it a little bit. So we've now got this, uh, I've just called it tire target. And so we want to transfer this model detail as a texture map on this. Now one thing that we want to uh, make sure of is that we actually smooth this geometry. So if we just have the smooth mesh preview, uh, it's not going to project correctly. So if I turn off this smoothing, take the divisions down to zero, you can see it's this low res piece. Um, it's going to project from that in unless we actually add the smoothing to that. Okay, so you want to make sure to do that. So in order to do this, we'll take the target and let's go up to rendering and let me go into lighting and shading transfer maps we've got our tire target shape uh, included as a target now for the source meshes I'm gonna actually go in here into the wheel and let me actually grab part of this outer wheel okay so it's basically this portion that we want to add so we can go ahead and say add selected it's going to add all of those in. So it's going to take uh, this as our source, all this, all these pieces, and calculate 
our maps for this. Now we can go ahead and display the geometry and the envelope. And I just want to dial this envelope up till it's kind of encompassing the tread here. And let me just go ahead and set that up to one. All right, so we get something like that. There we go. And now we're going to come in and let's jump down here. And we want to choose what kind of maps we want to actually output. Let's go ahead and output a normal and displacement. Okay. Now let's come down to the Maya Common and let's choose a size for these. I probably want to make these a bit bigger, but I'll just make these 1K uh, for now. I'll increase the sampling quality a little bit. And then we need to choose where we're actually going to save these maps. So let me go ahead and name this. And we'll just call this normal. I'm going to actually change the file format. And just call this tread normal. And I'll leave those settings. Let's do the same thing down here. And I'll just call this tread again tread displacement. All right, so if you've done projection, you know how this works. Um, so we'll go ahead and bake and close and let that go through. And it's going to spend some time calculating. So I'm going to actually pause the video while that calculates and we'll come right back when it's done. So now it's done calculating. We can go ahead and take the tire or the wheel and let's go ahead and hide that. And then it's created a new material for us. We can go ahead and add, create a blend uh, for that material that has everything sort of hooked up um, already. And let's just modify our specular just a little bit. So you can see that we have a normal map on here that kind of mimics the detail that we have. And then if we were to go ahead and just do a quick render of this, and you can take some time and get the settings um, a little bit better and kind of fill in some of that geometry with other pieces as well. So it's calculating from that. But you can see how that detail has is now being created from the uh, displacement map in this case. And this has an approximation node on it as well. And so this is going to be a lot lighter than using the actual model detail. So in those cases, you can come in and do a calculation to uh, transfer that uh, model detail or any of these model details into a, a texture map. Keep in mind that your target uh, mesh needs to have UVs so that it can calculate that uh, map. All right, so just something to think about, the, the resolution of the detail you add and also the amount of detail that you add. And it should be based on how much detail you need for that particular project. So the next thing that we'll talk about is setting things up as far as functionality goes. So we've got our, uh, you've got your military vehicle, let's say, and so now you want it to, uh, be able to uh, rig it in certain ways and, and to move in certain ways. And so we'll talk a little bit about just doing a little bit of uh, basic setup on that um, just to get it down the pipe and make sure everything works. So we'll go ahead and talk about that next.